Is it okay to pray for our departed loved ones? I'll be honest, I never really struggled with that question until a couple of years ago when my son Luke died at the age of 21 years old. And then two or three months later, my dad also died at the age of 81. And as has been experienced by people all over the world, my own immediate reaction was to want to cry out to God on their behalf. I wanted to pray to our Heavenly Father to be with them, to keep them safe, to bring them into a place of peace, to let them know that I love them, to let them know that I, I miss them. I wanted my Heavenly Father to basically take care of my son and my dad. This emotion was intense, it was prolonged, it was an experience that was just seemingly erupting from within me, this desire to cry out to my God and to pray on behalf of my own departed son and my own departed father. So I get where this question is coming from. Here's something to keep in mind, though, that's an important background to not only this question, but to all questions that pertain to the Bible and theology. Our answers are not based upon experience. Experience does vary. Experience is unpredictable. Even the most intense experiences that we have can be misleading. Sometimes the desires that arise within us are good. Sometimes the desires that arise within us are bad. Sometimes they're kind of in between. But our desires, our experiences, all of these elements of the human experience cannot and do not determine that which is true, that which is of God, that which is correct theology. And thus, what is correct theology leads into correct practice. So, is it proper? Is it right? Is it biblical? Is it theologically sound for us to pray to God on behalf of our departed loved ones? Well, what do the scriptures teach about this? We read in Hebrews 9.27 that it is appointed for man to die once, and then after that comes the judgment. That is true for every single person. We die once, and after that comes the judgment. Well, the dying once is clear, but what does this mean after that comes the judgment? Well, after that comes the judgment as to where we are going to spend eternity after our life in this world. So is it going to be basically with Christ? Or is it going to be away from God in hell, in the place of punishment? And that's what happens when every single person dies. At the moment of death, either they are with Christ, absent from the body, present with the Lord, as Paul describes it, or they are in the place of punishment. They are in hell. So after that moment, after the, the moment of death, our prayers, even though we want to pray them on behalf of our departed loved ones, can alter nothing. Either they are where God wants all people to be with him, with Christ, in paradise, or they're not because they have refused to believe that message. And so our prayers don't change anything. Our prayers cannot change anything after the moment of a person's death. It's basically too late at that point. So they are going to be with Christ awaiting his return and the resurrection of the body and uh, the new heavens and the new earth, or those who have rejected Christ and his gospel will be in the place of punishment, awaiting that final judgment in Matthew 25, where Jesus separates the sheep from the goats, and then they will be cast into the lake of fire, those who have rejected Christ, those who are unbelievers. So, is it biblical for us to pray for our departed loved ones? No, it, it, it's not. If they have departed this life, it's too late. What we can do, however, and this is what I do on a regular basis, in my prayers, I give thanks to my Heavenly Father for my dad, whose life I, I praise for his 81 years in, in this life, for him being my father, for him loving me and caring for me. I give thanks to my Heavenly Father for the 21 years that, that I had my son Luke and for all the, all the joys that he brought into my life and into the lives of, of so many. So I pray to God for Thanksgiving. I pray to God giving thanks to him for the gift of my 
departed loved ones, but not for them specifically. And I also pray, I also pray for those who are still in this life. I pray for my wife and for my, my other children and my grandchildren, my friends. I pray for my enemies. I, I pray for people who are still in this life, that God would be with them or they would bring them to repentance or we'd heal them or whatever the need might be. So I pray to God giving thanks for my departed loved ones. And I pray to God also thanking him for the people who are still in this life and for whatever their needs might be. So that's the, the biblical answer to this question. Should we pray for our departed loved ones? No, uh, we, we cannot do that, but we can certainly give thanks to God for their life and for the blessings they brought into our lives. And we can certainly pray for all of those who are in need of whatever it is that they do need in this life, petitioning our Heavenly Father to be with them and to grant them that which He knows that they, that they need. Thanks for listening.